Tonight, police officers around the Salt Lake Valley are mourning the loss of a beloved canine officer. Maya was fatally shot during an attempted arrest in South Jordan last night that left the suspect dead too. Fox 13 News has teamed coverage following last night's tragic incident. Fox 13 News reporter Aaron Cox is looking into the suspect's past, but we start first with Fox 13's Spencer Joseph, who joins us live to share how much this canine officer's loss is impacting the department. Spencer. Good evening. Yes, that police service dog named Maya was one of the most decorated in the entire state, being a part of a team that actually won best in state for canines in 2021, as well as herself actually winning several distinguished honors for tracking and detection. But tonight, officers with the West Jordan Police Department, it's setting in that they've lost not only a fellow officer, but a loyal friend. PSD Maya and her handler both joined the West Jordan Police Department in 2018. As a police dog, Maya was a loyal companion. A, a loving dog and just loved police work. And every day when she came to the office, she would run around to the different officers just asking for attention. She really did love to work. And to the community, her service meant a lot. To the community, you know, she was tracking down violent felons, suspects that needed to be arrested. She was finding narcotics on a regular basis. Uh, she went out to community events and interacted with the public. So on Thursday, when she was tasked with taking down a suspect, she charged in. She did save the lives of those officers that night, and she will be remembered as a hero. The suspect, Zachary Alvarenga, was shot at by eight officers from several different departments, dying on scene. Those eight officers, including Maya's handler, are being placed on administrative leave, but are alive because of her sacrifice. Fleeing officers Mr. Alvarenga actually fired towards officers and PSD Maya succumbed to the gunfire injury she suffered that night. I, I can only imagine that type of grief that the whole family is going through. Canine officers are not only a part of the department, but they're part of an officer's family. Heel. Something Corporal Rod Elmer with the Utah Highway Patrol knows all too well. I haven't experienced anything like it. Not only do they go to work and spend our work time with us, but then when we take them home and they interact with our families. As a handler with the Utah Highway Patrol and a part of statewide canine training, he's seen a lot of amazing dogs. Every type of dog that the Highway Patrol has. I've run a drug dog, bomb dog, and an apprehension dog. There's not a human that's faster than a canine. We do it because we like to protect and serve, and it's not just a, a catchphrase. So as the city of West Jordan, along with the entire state, mourns the loss of a hero, the West Jordan Police Department is remembering their loyal friend. Any kind of dog, it, it becomes a member of your family, whether it's the handler's dog who lives with that dog 24-7, or any of us who worked with PSD Maya in the office and came by wanting her loves every day. There was a lot of officers that went home yesterday because of that canine and what it's been trained to do. Her funeral will be held in 10 days on February 28th at 11 a.m. Now, it will be a private service for officers, but they're asking the community to line the streets to support Maya and her sacrifice on that day. We'll have more on the details of the procession route and the location as it becomes available. In West Jordan, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.